Welcome to month four of Cheshire Quilters Guild 2020 Mystery Fractured Squares. This month we're going to be making quarter square triangles and square and square units. So for the quarter square triangles, first thing we'll do is on the back of our fabric C squares, we're going to draw a diagonal line. Should be familiar to you from our work making the half square triangles in month two. Okay, now I'm going to take each one of these squares and layer it with a fabric E square. And then of course we're going to go to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam on either side of the drawn lines. I'll do that with each pair. And then I'll meet you back here for the next step. Okay, I've got my seam sewn. So I'm now going to cut this apart along the drawn line. And now I'm going to take this over to the my pressing station and I'm going to press toward fabric E. Um, or whichever fabric you have that's darker. By my suggestions, it should be your fabric E. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll meet you back here for the next step. Okay, I have them pressed, and now we're going to take, two, in order to make our quarter square triangles, we're going to take two of these, and we're going to put them right sides together, and we're going to nest the seams, and we're going to make sure that we have fabric E against C on both sides. It's the only way you're going to be able to nest the seams. And once we have the seams nested, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw a line that goes straight across from point to point. And what I'm going to try and do is make sure that my line is perpendicular to the seam that's already sewn. So it's not going to go exactly from corner to corner. But it will make sure that we have a nice um, square seam here when we stitch across on both sides. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll meet you back here to finish up our quarter square triangles. Okay, I've sewn on either side of the lines. So now we can separate and voila. There's our quarter square triangle. Now the only thing left to do is to press. And for the pressing, we're going to furl the seams. And that means that I'm going to, since these two are toward the fabric E, these two are going to go toward fabric C. And when I do that, we'll get a nice little four patch on the back that will open up. So I'm going to do the pressing and then I'll meet you back here to see what else we need to do to finish up our quarter square triangles. Okay, there's my quarter square triangle unit made. Now we just need to trim it down to size and the way in which I do that, it's really ideal if you have a ruler like this one that's four and a half inches um, in one direction because I can lay the 45 degree along one seam. Let's see if I can get this to scooch where it needs to be. There we go, along one seam. And then you notice the 44 and a half inches is right at that seam and this and the um, corner is at this seam. I can actually trim up three sides without moving the ruler, but I'm, I'm only going to trim two. And then we can turn it so I've got the again the 45 along that seam and you'll see I've got the 45 along the seam I've got the four and a half along the side I've already trimmed And there we have a quarter square triangle. And we're going to end up with four of these when we finish up pressing and trimming all of the pieces. 
Okay, so now we're going to make this square and a square units. And the way in which we're going to do that is we're going to take um, our fabric E squares and we're going to sew fabric C triangles on opposite sides. Once they're sewn on, we're going to press toward those triangles. I'll meet you back here when I have that step done. Okay, so I've got two sides put on and I've got these dog ears. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim them off. I'm going to keep in mind that this center square is 3 and 3 eighths so that I don't lose the size of my unit. And there you go. I've trimmed off the dog ears. And now what I'm going to do is sew on the other two triangles. And I'll meet you back here after I've got them sewn on. And again, I'm going to press to those triangles. All right, now I've got all four triangles sewn on and pressed. We're going to trim this to four and a half inches. And again, I'm going to use my, my uh, ruler that's four and a half inches wide. And I want to make sure that the points of my... Uh, inner square are a quarter inch from the edge. So let's see if we can do that. Actually that point right there, right there, right there. That looks good. And again, since my ruler is four and a half inches wide, I could trim three sides at once, but I'm only going to trim two sides. Rotate the unit around and now I'm going to trim the other two sides. Hmm. Okay, and there we go. Now notice it's the two and a quarter, half of four and a half, two and one quarter, is where we want to position the four points of the inner square and each one of them a quarter inch from the side. So there we have it. I'm going to finish up my other four square and a square units and that's it. We're done with month four of Cheshire Quilter Scaled 2020 Mystery Fractured Squares. See you next month for the big reveal and the finish for our mystery.